Okay. All right, I do not have the smoothest finish on this, but I still think it's gonna be all right. Um, so I've got my base coat on, which in my case, I used some cappuccino and I used Coliseum. I made some mistakes. I kind of drizzled my Coliseum on and then I kind of rolled it out. Well, that kind of ate into my cappuccino. So that's why this big streak is here. Now, I'm gonna try to somewhat cover that up, or not cover it up, but camouflage that, I guess, so to speak, with my lines. When you look at it from the side, you'll probably still be able to see it, but I don't care. It's going to be in my bedroom, and I'm not going to get all freaked out about it. So, some of you might get all freaked out about it. Anyway, I have already mixed up my, my gray. I had some dark gray chalk paint. It was just something I had bought one time and uh, it was actually from Aldi. <laughs> they had a random, I don't know, chalk paint one time. You know how they have odds and ends and I bought it. It's been sitting in my cabinet. So I've got that mixed up with some of uh, HTP's uh, top coat and I think I have two tablespoons of gray to about 10 tablespoons of clear top coat and I've just really mixed it up and um, I've done one of my I've done my dresser and I've done one nightstand already and I promised a couple people that I would do try to do a video again of uh, more of the process. So, got my turkey feather. I bought a package of five at Joann's for like $3.99, $2.99, something like that. So, I'm gonna put my bowl down just so I don't have to worry about holding it. And I'm gonna start up here at the top. If you look at any pictures of marbling, there's all different kinds of marble. And you don't have to make it look like any particular marble. You can kind of make your own marble. And uh, I'm gonna switch out my feathers because sometimes they get soggy and I don't think they, they, let, they do real good. And don't get too worried, like right there. I'm gonna kind of smooth that out a little bit. I get a little too much moisture in one spot. It'll kind of eat through your paint a little bit and make a kind of pull up your base coat. So I'm just kind of dragging it, dragging it out. All right, switch feathers up a little bit. Now, I'm gonna kind of go down this other line over here that I wanna camouflage. They kind of, the veins kind of work off of each other, if you'll notice when you look at marble. They just run off of each other. But then sometimes there's a piece that connects back to the other. So I know that looks real sloppy. It, it looks amateurish. Don't worry about it. Because when it's all done, it's going to be okay. I'm gonna kind of take just one little part of the feather and draw more of a single line. And not have like a wide, as much of a wide piece. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna connect. Connect that, okay? Now, I'm gonna kinda just shoot off. If you'll notice, in some marbles, there's areas that are just kind of a, 
a light gray, kind of just a, a muted area. And that's okay, you can kind of just fill that in and make kind of a grayer spot. All right, now make sure like you come down, if you have a place that has sides, you wanna kind of come down the sides. You can't see it from where you're at, but I'm gonna, I have like a beveled side and I'm gonna make sure that I come down the front. Okay. See, I'm rolling down the side, down the front, on the sides. All right. Get some more paint. Come down this. All right, don't get too crazy. Now, I'm gonna start kind of a new vein. You are gonna to wanna to have some plain white area too, white space. White space is important in marble. It helps make the veining look interesting to me. So it all kind of flows in the same direction. So I'm gonna kind of keep going in the same sort of direction, angle, uh, angle down. All right, now, if you want, you could do a little, say where there's a little extra liquid, go ahead and Kind of deter that off and maybe make a little a little pocket marble does that you'll see that if you kind of look at different pieces of marble you'll notice that's a normal thing sometimes like we did there you might want to you could drag it up there i think i want to have clear spot up here. I like that. I like that big clear spot. Do I want to come over here? I don't know. Just kind of study it. Kind of think in your mind, you know, what do you want to do? You don't have to fill every space. It's okay. Now, what I'm going to do next is after this dries and sets, I'm going to come back over it because uh, some areas of marble are dark, some areas are a little softer. To me, I like a softer look on the marble. Some of you are going to say, oh, I like it dark like this. When you see it in real life, rather than over the camera, it, it, look, it doesn't look as realistic as maybe it does on the camera. So that's why I like to tone it down a little bit. And it, if I give a little bit of uh, layering over the top is what I call it, um, I'm going to take some of the clear top coat and mix it with some more Colosseum. And I'm going to clear coat over some of it, probably all of it. Uh, I'm going to clear coat with a little Colosseum in it. And then um, some areas I'm going to put more on than others and make it even softer. But uh, to me, that's gonna make it look a little more realistic. And uh, everybody's gonna like something a little bit different and that's what makes the world go round. But uh, that's just how I do it, guys. And uh, you can do it your way. You might come up with a whole nother way that is gonna make it look even more real and uh, I'm excited to see how this turns out and uh, I'm gonna keep adding to this video and uh, show you how it all comes out in the end. Have fun! Okay so this is one coat of like a top coat that has some Colosseum in it 
it's lightened it up considerably and I like it a lot and I want to show you excuse all the mess because I'm painting this one is considerably darker it does not have any top coat on it it's nice but when you get up close it's just it doesn't look it just doesn't look you know finished again this one is softer it's a little more natural 